Hello, my name is Daniel Villa and welcome to my art studio. In this video, I'm going to tell you the basic art materials every beginner needs before they start drawing and how to set up for drawing. If we have not met before in this channel, I give tips on how you can DIY art school from home. I do art materials reviews and I also do educational tutorials. My mission is to show with you the knowledge I have learned and hopefully I can teach you something new. I upload videos every week, so make sure you subscribe and hit the notification button so you never miss a new upload. But for now, let's get on to the new video. There are really only a handful of things you really need in order to begin drawing. Most of us grow up using a yellow number two pencil, which in our terms would be the equivalent of an HB. You will of course need also some paper and I also highly recommend that you get an eraser. If you don't have a white eraser, then you can always supplement that with a pink eraser, although I would always recommend a white eraser. There is absolutely nothing wrong with starting any drawing lesson with readily available materials. However, if you can afford art materials, I would highly recommend doing so. Not only will these materials be a part of quality, but they're made with artists' needs in mind. I personally buy all my supplies from Blick. I've been doing so already for years. This is not a sponsored video. I just really, really do believe and like the Dick brands and all the supplies that they provide. I get most of my printmaking supplies, absolutely everything for printmaking from Dick Blick. I get a lot of my oil paints. I get them specifically also from them. I just really think they have a great selection of materials and I would highly recommend them. I utilize the Blue Stadler Mars Lumograph pencil. I have been buying graphite pencils for a while now, and I always complain how they shine when the light hits them. For example, this is a non Mars Lumograph pencil, and you can really see right there on the graphite how it just sort of shines when the light hits them. And then on this page, I have this little drawing of this semi sphere that was made with these pencils, and as you can tell, there isn't a whole lot of shine. So that's the main reason why I like to buy these pencils. I don't buy them in a case. I do buy them separately. And I do like to get the HB, 2B, an H, and a 2H. That is absolutely the four pencils that I use for almost every single drawing. They do come already pre-sharpened like this. Um, I will go more into how you should sharpen your pencils because I don't utilize them like this but that's the next item. For paper, I use Dick Blick's Studio 14 by 17 sketch pad. The one I use the most is this one, the one that is 60 pounds per weight and it is 100 sheets. This is the one that I use the most to do all of my exercises. I also do have a 14 by 17 drawing pad. It is 80 pounds per weight and it's only 30 sheets. However, these is more. this pad is more for finish products. I preferably like to work on a bigger sheet because I have more space and I can move from one side to another. However, if you like, I also, like me, I have a small sketch pad here that I also utilize every once in a while. So if you rather do that, then you're more than welcome to do that. I also use a kneaded eraser. These come very useful, especially because you can mold these as you see on this one. And I keep a dirty and a clean one with me at all times. I, You may be wondering why you want to keep a dirty eraser with you. And that is because sometimes you really need to go into certain parts of the drawing, especially where you've gone too dark. And with a tip, a fine tip, you can just kind of tap and pick up just a little bit of that graphite and it looks a whole lot better. I also use a white high polymer eraser. These are always very useful. I would always recommend using a white eraser instead of a pink eraser. And finally, my favorite, it is this pen style eraser. It is the Mono Nox 3.8 by Tombow. It is made in Japan. It's pretty sturdy. I just like the way that it feels and I like it because I can cut this tip 
into an angle and I can also get right in there, especially when I get to certain areas of a drawing. Next is a utility knife or an X-Acto knife that it will be used as a sharpener. I will go into more into detail why you should be using a knife instead of a regular sharpener to sharpen your pencils. On top of the utility knife, I also recommend getting some sandpaper. The sandpaper also comes in handy to making sure that your pencils go from this to a very sharp point like that. Lastly, I would recommend a good artist's tape. I do not recommend that you get the blue painter's tape or scotch tape or any other type of paint, uh, tape since they will rip your paper. And honestly, it's just not worth the hassle when you finish a really good drawing and then you take the tape off and it just comes off. So make sure you get a good quality tape. Your drawing setup is just as important as your materials in my opinion. I personally use this board right here that's been at the very bottom. This is just a regular birch panel board and it is, let's see, it's about 23 inches long and it is about 20 inches right there. So you could definitely buy a board, but I recommend you just go out there and getting one. As you see, it just has that number right there. I didn't do that. It was just like that. And I use this board to tape my paper on top of this. And then I stand this on top of my easel. This is the easel that I have. I bought this a couple of years ago for $50 at a craft store. So this is it at its maximum height. As you can tell, it is not very sturdy. It is, it wobbles a lot and it just isn't of the best of quality. But I mean, once again, it is $50. One of my biggest complaints of it is that this is as high as my board can go. I am six feet one. And when I'm drawing up here, it is great. But when I have to draw down here, I either have to get on a chair or I really have to go down. And that could be a little pain when you're drawing for a couple hours. Give this video a thumbs up if you liked it. Make sure to subscribe if you loved it. And remember, I will be posting new videos to YouTube weekly, especially the drawing tutorials. Also remember, you can find me on Instagram at DanielViaArt, and you can visit my website, danielviaart.com to look out at the blog and look at the online store. Until then, make sure you keep on practicing.